Alright, so this tutorial is about uh, reading your EEP ROM from using a EEP ROM reader. Uh, if you purchase from the link that I have on the video, uh, this is what you'll get. You'll get the EEP ROM reader, like this. It has a 9 pin uh, serial connector. You're going to need that. Uh, most desktops, I think, have it, uh, and some laptops do. Uh, you'll also get these three discs. Uh, there'll be an emulator disc. Mine ended up being blank. Um, <laughs> you'll get a game. And this is the one you really want. The EEP ROM reader uh, software. Uh, and there's also a guide on it. But there are some mistakes in the guide. I'm going to tell you uh, what not to follow about it. Um, there's also Xbox hard drive maker. Uh, and some other things too. Uh, can't remember off the top of my head. But okay, so let's get to it. So uh, grab the EEP ROM reader, plug it in. I'm using my laptop computer here uh, for the screen. You could use your TV as well. So uh, it comes with an alligator clip and uh, two probes, um, one with a red wire, one with a blue. So first things first, attach the alligator clip to the side of your Xbox. And this is the side where the IDE cable plugs into the motherboard. Uh, the reason for this is that the cable is quite short where it separates the alligator clip and the two probes so you don't have much room to work with so plug it in as close as you can um, so um, now the two uh, the two holes that you're gonna be or the two uh, two areas where you're gonna be putting the two probes is on the LPC area of the motherboard I'll show you where that is here Okay, so here they are right here. I'll zoom out a bit. Okay, so the two holes that we're gonna have to concern ourselves with are the this is the um, right here the front of the Xbox okay so from looking from the front the two holes you concern yourself with are the second last pair these two right here okay now the red probe goes to the right the blue probe goes to the left that's one thing that's on the tutorial that's uh, there's a picture showing you the opposite um, so don't follow that part um, this is a version 1.0 Xbox um, and on that it, it's a little harder to read the get the EEP ROM read because these holes are have solder filled in them all the others are empty and it's very easy to just read the EEP ROM with the other one so what I'm what you if you're like me with the 1.0 you're gonna actually have to hold the probes on these two two holds holes to get your read so So, okay, let's get her started. So when, when you turn your Xbox on, you're not going to want to read the EEP ROM right away. You're actually going to wait for an error screen.
once the air screen comes on, that's when you want to read, that's when you want to put the probes on the two, two areas there. So we just wait for it. Now the pro program that we're going to want open is Pony Prog, one of the software programs that was on the disk. So there's the error screen we want. We'll just do that again. I'll explain this to you first. So the first thing you want to do with Pony Prog is go to Options, go to Setup. Now you want to choose which serial port you want to use here. Uh, I have two options. If you're confused as to which one to choose, you can use um, Device Manager. It, it will show you which one to use here. Go to your ports. It's COM1. You can see there. So this is what I want to choose in Pony Prog. So I choose COM1 and on serial, not parallel. Um, nothing else, I, I don't need to concern myself with it, nothing else. Click OK. Now go back up to Options. And hit Calibration. Zoom out here. And go Yes. And it's going to calibrate you get calibration OK. Click OK. Now I'm ready to get my EEP ROM reading. Now when the error comes up what you want to press to get that reading is this top left uh, thing. It'll, when you put the cursor on it you'll get the read device shown up. So that's what I want to press once I have the, um, um, the, the probes attached or the probes uh, put onto the holes. I want to press that with the error screen on the Xbox and I'll get my EEP ROM read reading. So I'll just show you here me doing just that. Okay, so we fire up the Xbox we wait for the error screen. Have Pony Prog open and have your the two probes in your left hand or your other hand ready to put on the two holes. Okay, there's the error screen. We put the two probes down. Red on the right, blue on the left. Okay, you might not get it your first try. You only have a certain amount of time. As soon as the probes hit the two points, um, the Xbox will eventually shut down. This is harder when you're on when you're being recorded. I have no problem getting it if I'm not being recorded. All right, here's the error. And there we are. What you'll see on the screen, if it's correct, on Pony Prog here, you'll get about 12 characters there. That's your EEP ROM. So, 
from that point. Sorry, I'm using a tripod for this video and I'm not too used to it. Okay, so from there, we get read, it'll say read successful. Now you want to go to file, you want to go save as. Uh, make sure the save as type is dot bin. Now, what you want to uh, name it is eeprom.bin. Now, there, it has to be lowercase letters because later when you use Xbox Hard Drive Maker, it's Linux, right? And Linux is case sensitive and it wants to read just the lowercase. Uh, the tutorial says uppercase. You don't want that. You want lower. And then you save to wherever directory you want. And now we use another piece of uh, software here that came with the disk. Okay, so yeah, live info and live info.exe. Now this will read your Xbox uh, EEP ROM. If you want, you don't have to do this, but just maybe to make sure that it worked correctly. So there we go, Xbox version 1.0, it tells me my serial number. And that's it. Once you have your EEP ROM, you can make uh, whatever hard drive you want, uh, as long as it's not over 2 terabytes. Um, that's it. Thanks.